What happened on the day after Jesus died on the cross? There's a lot of, of questions here, and there's a lot we don't know, but Matthew gives us a little bit of an insight. Hi, I'm Adam Miller from Songtime Radio and the pastor of South Chatham Community Church, and we want to invite you to follow along with us over the course of this week as we're reading through the Gospel of Matthew and getting the final accounts of Jesus during this special Holy Week. In this example, we see that as Jesus was buried in the tomb, that the Pharisees, the religious leaders of his day, really were uh, concerned and afraid of Jesus uh, and the reputation that he had preached, that he would die and then be raised from the dead. Notice closely, notice very specifically here, that the Pharisees were listening intently to what Jesus was saying. In fact, they knew better of what he had proclaimed about himself than his own disciples understood. And so they they asked for Pilate to, to set up a guard so that the, the disciples couldn't come in and sneak away and, and steal Jesus and remove his body and giving the perpetuation of a hoax that Jesus had been raised from the dead. In fact, they had actually put up this guard to protect any hoax from being conjured up. And yet, as we see on Sunday in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the, the guards, that as they saw the, the angels proclaiming that Christ had risen and the, the tomb being opened and Jesus no longer being there, they ran to Pilate, they ran to the Pharisees, and the Pharisees actually paid them to remain silent. So while they were trying to protect a hoax from being developed, in fact, they became the ones who perpetuated a hoax that Christ, his body, had been stolen by his disciples. In fact, if you look at the evidence, if you actually research the evidence of the resurrection, there are even secular scholars today who say, well, we know we, they don't want to acknowledge that Jesus was raised from the dead but they will not be able to deny the fact that these followers truly believed that Christ was risen. And that is what we are meditating on today. As we continue to look through the Gospel of Matthew and Jesus' final week, we're contemplating the extent that the Pharisees had to, to go to in order to prevent a hoax that in, inevitably resulted in them creating a hoax. They ultimately listened intently to who Jesus said he was and what he said he was going to do. But in the end, they had already rejected Jesus as their Messiah in his, their hearts. The question for us today is, will we accept Jesus and his own claims about himself and who he says he is and who he is even today as our risen Savior?